let's discuss the basics of NIR technology. And to start with, let's talk about terminology. NIR is short for near infrared spectroscopy. Near infrared spectroscopy uses light in the near infrared region, which is between the visible and the infrared ranges, and in terms of wavelength between 800 and 2500 nanometers. This near infrared light interacts with sample material, such as feed ingredients, in a specific way depending on the sample composition that allows us to predict qualitative and quantitative properties in samples. Practically, what this means in the case of our DS2500 near infrared system, we typically analyze solids using a sample cup as shown in this picture. And this cup can receive either ground or unground materials. Near infrared light travels from the spectrometer through a transparent quartz window in the bottom of the cup and interacts with the sample. The cup rotates during the measurement to obtain a better average result. The near infrared light that interacts with the sample has specific wavelengths that are absorbed by the sample according to certain chemical bonds being present in the sample. For example, carbon hydrogen bonds associated with fats, nitrogen hydrogen bonds associated with protein, or oxygen hydrogen bonds found in water all absorb in specific wavelength locations. And the intensity of the, the absorbance corresponds to the concentration within the sample. The near infrared spectrum is simply a chart with the wavelengths on the x-axis and the absorbance intensity on the y-axis. Here are some examples of near infrared spectra of feed meals and milk powder. If you look closely, you'll see that some absorption patterns are more prevalent than others. The near infrared spectrum in and of itself is interesting but not useful for our purposes. To get useful information, we need to apply a near infrared calibration model. The calibration model uses advanced math, a specialized field called chemometrics, which essentially converts the near infrared spectrum into a predicted result for unknown samples. One of the valuable aspects of near infrared is that you can get multiple parameters in a single NIR scan. So in this example, we have five parameters, protein, fat, moisture, ash, and fiber, and we're expressing a value in terms of percent concentration for each of those values. And this is all generated from a single scan that can be accomplished in less than a minute. The good news is if you don't understand the details of spectroscopy or chemometrics, you don't have to be an expert to use a modern NIR. We'll take care of these technical issues so that you can just focus on using the values to better your business.